When I call this meeting this morning to introduce to you a man we all would want to meet. <laughs> Sent to this school by God himself. A man of peace, a kind-hearted man, all the way from Rome. Ladies and gentlemen, a new principal. Reverend. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good day. I'm so glad to be in your midst. Well, the proprietor stress has said it all, so I don't know what else to say. But all I can say is that uh, I will assure you, and I can assure you from where I'm standing, that God loves this group, and that is why I am here. So I'm willing to work with your corporation so we form a team. And together, we'll take this school to the next level. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Raphael, Mr. Sam, Miss Ify, please come with me. It's a very happy day. It's a very great day in the history of the school. I want you all to put your hands together as we welcome to our midst our new principal, a holy man of God, all the way from Rome, Reverend Preto. Good morning, Reverend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Please get seated. I want to thank you all and I want to appreciate you for the warm welcome you've all given me. I say may God bless you. Amen. When I say God bless you, you say amen. May God bless you. Amen. As your new principal, I promise you this will mark the beginning of greater things to happen in this school. And I also promise you that I'm going to do my duty without fear nor favor and with the fear of God. Put your hands together for God. <laughs> Once again, I say thank you very much. Thank you for welcoming me. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Okay, well done, children. Please come. Hello, students. Are you happy? Yes. You don't sound it. Are you happy? Yes, ma'am. Sit down, class. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our new principal, a holy man of God, all the way from Rome. I want you to welcome our new principal, Reverend Preto. Good morning, students. Good morning, students. Good morning. Well, I want to thank you for your warm welcome and um, for your appreciations 
and having me around here. I thank you all. Let's say this is going to mark the beginning of a great school. And I promise you all that I'm going to lead you by the fear of God. Because the Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Put your hands together for God. Thank you very much. Thank you. Continue with what you're doing, please. be this ungrateful. I mean, Mr. Andrew was supposed to be our new principal. You are right dear boss. Maybe she thinks Mr. Andrew is too young to be our principal. Too young? Hmm? Listen, as far as I'm concerned, he is the best teacher in our school. Everybody thinks the same way. Everybody but thinks the same way. Anyway, whether she like it or not, he is my principal. Come, let's go. Good afternoon, Mama. Oh, good afternoon, Andrew. You're welcome, Andrew. How was school today? The school was fine. It was fine. Uh, the proprietress introduced us to a man from Rome who would be our new principal. The new principal? Yes. So my grace refused to make you the principal. Ah, uh, uh, Mama, must I be a principal? Come on, I, my, my schedule is quite tight. Okay. You know I wake up in the morning and go to school, stay till 4 p.m. Then I take evening classes from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Thereafter tutorial classes till 9 p.m. So when, when would I have the time to do the job as a principal? Who oh, spend all that? You are the pioneer of the school. And you? Of which without you such school wouldn't have been in existence. Mama, I thank God for everything. I thank God he has been rewarding me well. Come to think of it, there are colleagues of mine who are in the same position as I am who don't earn as much as I do. So I thank God. Did she specially introduce you to the new principal? Uh, no, she didn't. Um, maybe she'll do that tomorrow. Mama Cheryl, please. <laughs>
Equals to nothing. Repeat after me. Anything or everything you do without the fear of God. Equals to nothing. So we must start our life with God. We must start our existence. When we wake up in the morning, the first person we talk to is God. If you must have a colorful future, then you must have the fear of God living inside of you. And you chase away all worldly pleasures to achieve that which you are striving for now. You are striving for perfection. To achieve perfection, you must let all these worldly things praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's no way you can achieve this without the fear of God. It is fundamental to success. You need to obey God. You need to fear Him. You need to respect your fellow human beings. You need to love your neighbors. Love your classroom mates. Agape love, the love of God. You treat everyone with respect. Live responsibly. Protect yourself. This way, you'll be walking towards glory. Bow your heads, let's say a word of prayer. Close your eyes as you talk to God. Tell Him what you want Him to do in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because you have a calling for their life. And nothing shall our enemies stop them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Alright. So I'll go on to our today's lecture, which is from the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 10, 3, verse 10. Uh, Mother, there is something I discovered that our children are lacking. And that is the fear of God. This morning while I was speaking with them at the assembly, I, I had to preach and preach and preach at the assembly hall before I could get their attention. I mean, they, they, they are so loose. Well, Reverend, that's a very strange disease of the modern time. All these children have that trait. But, but that still doesn't make it right. You see, up there in Rome, we don't treat matters like this lying low. Children must be disciplined. They must have the fear of God. And that's the only way to guarantee a safe future. Very well, Reverend. Now you're the principal. You can help us curb this anomaly. Oh, yes. Um, exactly what I was thinking about. You see, I, exactly why I brought up the topic. You see, uh, to, to curb this anomaly, I need to be close to these kids. I mean, there has to be some interaction with them, you know. Having an interactive session. 
And I thought about it overnight and I said, okay, um, maybe I should handle their CRK studies. Reverend, won't the workload be so much on you? Uh, no, no, no. Let's, let's just say these are the little, little sacrifices we need to put up to guarantee a safe future for our kids. Huh? Thank you very much, Reverend. Thank you, Madam. God bless you. And thank thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, yes, um, that will be all for today. Class captain, so please be sure you collect the assignments and bring them to the staff. Okay. Good day, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, students. Please sit down. I learned you'll be having your CRK studies this period. Yes. Okay, fine, good. Henceforth, I am your new CRK teacher. <laughs> well, um, let's leave that for another time, okay? I, I will come to that and we'll explain the reasons why Mr. Andrew cannot handle this studies again, okay? All right. So. Having said that, I want you to bring out your CRK notebook. Topic for today is human human relationship with God. Human relationship with God. You see, before we go ahead, I would like us to invite the Father of all presence, Father of all occasions, the man without whom we won't be here today, the Alpha and the Omega to our midst. Let us pray, close our eyes as we call God's name and invite him to come and study with us. Let us close our eyes. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our ah, Father God, we thank you because of this great day. Thank you for the mercies and for the miracle you have given to us. We thank you for the miracle of life. As we study today, Lord God, we pray that you give these students retentive memories so they can absorb everything they are thought here today to your glory and eventually brings them to our great success. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, uh, how many of you like to be a success story? Good. See, uh, who is the class uh, monitor in this class? Oh, you. You're going to make a list of the males and females in this class, okay? Let me have the number of students in this class so I can have that in my hand. Having said that, you can sit down. And, uh, yes, good day, class. Yes. You want to see me? Uh, no, sir. I actually came to take my class on CRS. Really? Yes. Uh, coincidentally, that's the same course I'm, I'm taking. Sir, so I actually met Krista only just now. You go and see the proprietors. I guess she has some piece of information for you. Hmm? Go and see her. Come on, leave. Yes. So, like I was saying, yes, I was saying before the rude interruption that we need the fear of God in whatever we do. It is the fear of God that takes you to the next level. Yes, Mr. Andrew. How may I help you? Uh, madam, I'm supposed to be having a class now. 
but on getting there, I saw the principal taking over my class. I asked him why, and he said I should come and see you first. Yeah, I, I forgot to tell you. The new principal is good in that area. You know, he just came back from the Holy Land where he stayed for so long. So you will let him have the subject. I hope that's all. Um, no, madam. It's, it's just that I'm not comfortable with the way things are going on here. I feel I'm not being carried along anymore. How do you mean? You never told me you were getting a new principal, for instance. Well, that's the way I wanted it. Madam, I, I don't know what I've done to deserve this maltreatment. I mean, have you forgotten how much I suffered to make this school what it is today? I mean, how, how much I... Enough! I... You can leave my office. I don't have time for this kind of nonsense. Get out. I'm sorry, madam. Get out! This boy had the guts to tell me how much he has suffered for this school. I have to do something about it, else someday he will get up and claim the school. I will put you where you rightly belong. I, I want to use my life experience to give you a little instance to what I'm saying. You see, when I was in a secondary school like y'all, you know, I used to work hard. And you see, when you work hard and you butter it just a little bit with the fear of God, you'd be surprised what God will do in your life. You'd be surprised how God would immensely change your life and bless you. I, I don't play with my studies. And allow God to walk through me. When my results came out, I got scholarship to be in America. Just when I was celebrating it and I was saying, praise the Lord, hallelujah. My church gave me another scholarship to Rome. I had to take the scholarship to Rome because Rome brings me closer to the things I need to do in the vineyard of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you allow hard work and mix a little bit, just a little bit, of the fear of God, you'll be surprised. The awesome thing that God wants to do in your life. You'll be marveled at what God can do in your life. May God bless the teaching of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'll uh, see you people. Uh, when is your next period? Yeah, on Wednesday for the second phase of your relationship with God. Bye-bye. question all this why but it keep escaping my mind what's question it's all about your partnership with Margaret. what's your income what's income are you talking about 
I mean the income realized from the secondary school. What's the percentage? Why do people keep asking me this question? Yes. Everybody even think you are the owner of the school. What? Wait, wait. Where would I get a huge amount of money to own such a school? Where? Listen, my friend. I am an employee. Just like you are an employee to your own boss. Okay. What? Yes. Do you mean you're suffering all this for another person's school? Look. The zeal with which you're growing this school. Is that a, is such that can make one a school owner? <laughs> Don't allow this woman to use you. She will certainly dump you one day. So that's why I disagree with you. Margaret is a born again Christian. And she I'm, will do no such thing. And I'm still telling you that people will smile at you when they need you. And when they get what they want from you, you will see the dangerous part of them. That is what you just said. People, not Margaret. Okay. What about the young man that helped her in growing the primary school? Shina, where is he? After all he suffered to establish that school, this woman and her husband humiliated him. They sacked him without prior notice. My friend, be careful. 19 subjects is too much for one teacher. Wake up from sleep, boy. Wake up. Dennis, it's only God who would reward everybody according to his deeds. Are you alright? Me? I'm, I'm fine. So, no problems at all? No, no problem. Class. Today, dealing with binary of Now, binary operations actually. You're not happy. Why are you looking this blue? Look, class. What is really going on? I need you to be happy. To listen attentively and understand. So please, can someone tell me what is going on? Becky. Now, Chris, you're the class captain. I need you to talk to me now. What is really going on? Chris? Thank you. So, it's about our preparatories. What about the preparatories? What? You should be so ungrateful. Heaven and earth knows how much you have suffered for this school and how much we loved you. I know how many schools have started the same way you started this school. Well, most of them collapsed. 
You sacrificed your health, your strength, and even your resting time for this school to stand. Now the professor sees you like a stranger. I remember the question I asked you some years ago when this school was still most school. And we have no other place for the sense. You. Look, class. Please sit down. I, I don't need you to talk like this. Look, I understand the way you feel. I feel your pain. Seriously. I do. But. There is nothing wrong with having another person as the principal. There's nothing wrong. I am still your teacher. We are one team, one house. So please, stop feeling the way you are right now. Nothing has changed. You hear me? I said nothing has changed. Am I understood? Class, am I understood? Reverend. Yes, madam. I called you in here today to discuss a very important issue. It's about one of your teachers. Mr. Andrew, he's been a source of worry to me, a very big headache to this school. How do you mean? Reverend, he's so arrogant, so full of himself. He doesn't even have the worth of a teacher. Honestly, he's been my greatest regret. This is, this is quite surprising. I mean, your own employee giving you all these problems and you don't know what to do? Reverend, it's not that I don't know what to do. But this boy has corrupted the entire school. Three times I have sacked him. And three times the whole school came rioting. Even the parents threatened to take away their words if I didn't bring him back. Um, did you try explaining to them why you sacked him? Uh, Reverend, that boy has charmed the entire school. There is nothing you will tell these people that will make them believe you're telling the truth. This is serious. Um, so what do you intend to do next? Reverend, that's why I called you. I want you to battle him. Um, battle? How? How do I battle him? Anyhow, do it any way you deem fit. I just want that boy out of the school. I want him out in such a way that nobody will question me. And, and everybody will believe that he deserves to go. Um, Madam, please, don't forget that I am a man of God. Reverend, I am a child of God as well. Please do me this favor. Please. Omnipotent one, the keeper of my faith, the provider of my needs, protector of my life, Lord. I thank you. Father Lord, you are the one who gave me the talent to teach. Lord, you are the one who gave me the talent to imbibe knowledge into people. And for this, Lord, I promise you. I promised you, O oh Lord, to keep a covenant with you. I promised you, O oh Lord, that I will never compromise this talent with worldly pleasures, O oh Lord. For the Lord, I put on your table right now. I put before your table now my problems, Lord. I put before you now my problems. 
other. Because you have provided for me in the past, Lord God, I want you to give me a solution now with your provision in Jesus' name. Father Lord, What's really going 
Teachers are receiving their salary today. The secretary has already gone to the bank to pick up the money. Please make sure that every teacher brings his or her up-to-date lesson notes. Do not pay anyone who does not bring an up-to-date lesson notes. All right, I'll do exactly as you say. Thank you very much. Uh, lest I forget, we received an invitation card from Nilo Company for their dance troupe choreography competition. Okay. I will send the invitation card as soon as I get it from the school bus. All right, uh, when I see the letters, I will know how to respond to them. Exactly. I will send it to you. Uh, that's it for the meeting? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Please, yes. Yes, um, please, I am actually looking for my lesson notes. I know you know what my lesson notes was, alright? So please, please, it's very, very important. I'm looking for that note. Um, without this note, I will not be able to teach. Most of all, I wouldn't get my salary. So you see how important it is. Please. Alright? Um, God bless you as you find this note for me. If you come across it, please, 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 please bring it to the staff room or anywhere you see it. Please. Thank you very much. God bless you. Sir, where did you keep it so we can help you search for it? You know, it's quite surprising because I left that lesson note on my table in the staff room before I went home yesterday. Sir, yes, I have you asked your fellow teachers? Maybe one of them might have confused it. Yes, Actually, I have. But none of them could help me out with it. So please, please, uh, God bless you. Let me go to other classes. Um, sir. Yeah, yes, yes. What, what, what can I do for you? Uh, sir, I actually left my lesson notes on the table in the staff room. Um, but uh, I'm so surprised that I couldn't find it today. And then why are you here? Sir, I actually came to see if you could just consider me this one time, sir. Look, I, I can only consider you if you're here with your lesson notes. That's the instruction. Uh, sir, I promise to find my lesson notes. Good. Your salary will always be here waiting for you. Just go get it and you'll get your salary. Sir. No more sales, man. I have to go. I have to balance this account because I have other salaries to pay. So you, you don't just make me go through next. These are your salaries. Everything is there. Okay, so just excuse me.
But why are you looking this way? What is the matter? I don't understand what is going on. I don't know what's happening. You don't know what is happening? What is the problem? Please tell me, I'm your mother. Did you encounter anything, any problem in school? It's just been traumatic. Today is payday in school. All teachers got paid except me. Why? I couldn't provide my note of lesson. And what happened to your note of lesson? I dropped that note on my table in the staff room before I came home yesterday. Only for me to get to school today and not see the note anywhere. I have searched every nook and cranny of that school and asked people, but no one could help me out with it. Uh, uh, I saw. I believe if you have insight, you will understand it that it is time for you to leave that school. You see, I've told you several times that your comfort is not guaranteed. In a school where your boss is desperate for your exit, all your colleagues are dangerously jealous of you. It is time for you to leave that school. It's not like I don't want to leave the school. But I'll betray the trust of my students. Mama, I have promised my students a better future. And their parents have entrusted them to me. So how can I achieve all of this if I leave the school? My son, you see, I quite understand your students and their parents love you as much as you love them. But we are talking about your life, your reputation. Your life is at risk. This woman has tried to kill you three times, three good times. She has tried to expel you from no just cause. Who knows her next plan? Hmm? Just confused. My dear students, I appreciate all the love and trust you and your parents have given me all these years. Of course you know I love you and I wish you well. I wish you a bright future. Chris, I want you to be the leader that you are. I want you to be the visionary that you are. Class, I need you to put into practice all the good things I have taught you. I say this because because I may no longer be teaching in this school. Please, 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 I I would advise you don't let your parents know for now. Please. Son, if you truly really love us as we all love you, why don't you please endure till we all finish our secondary school education? It's so hard to imagine what the school will look like when you must have been gone. Because to many of us, it's like our future lies in your teaching. No, 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 don't say that. No, no. Listen, all I can do is help you achieve your dreams. But it still depends on how ambitious you are towards achieving these dreams. I need you to be children of great achievers. Children of great aspirations. All right? Please. Sir, <laughs> <So> please. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stay with us till next year. <laughs> I 
we shall be finishing our secondary school. Please stop, take off your hand. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 Leave us, please. Leave us, please. Leave us, please. Well, madam, I have listened to the students. And I discovered that the students so, so much love Mr. Kanju. I mean, he is a good teacher. And above all, I think he's God fearing. As a matter of fact, if you must ask me, he is a talented teacher. And you are lucky to have such a hard working man in your, your team. In that case, Reverend, he don't really know who Andrew is. That boy is planning to take over this school from me. That is why he has charmed the entire school. Reverend, those good qualities you're seeing in him are mere camouflage. Reverend, I want that boy out of the school. That is why I employed you. That would be too hard for me to do. Then, Reverend, do it the hard way. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Philippa. What are you looking for in the staff room? The class sent me to you. But of course, you do know that the staff room is out of bounds to students. Go to your class, I'll come and meet you there. Okay. Philippa, come back. Philippa, what's the meaning of this? So I don't want you to go. It so that's why we contributed the money to compensate you because of your salary. Listen, Philippa, I appreciate your care, okay? But I don't need any compensation from you. Now take this money and go back to your class. Sir, so we just want to care. Look, listen, Philippa, just take this money. You're going to put me into more trouble, all right? Okay, you just take this money and go back now. Philippa, you are a student. I mean, where do you get money to even give me? Mr. Andrew, what are you doing with a female student in the staff room? Um, 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 not, no, nothing, sir. I can see nothing. Now you've confirmed all I've been hearing is true. Now, give me that envelope. Give me the envelope. No, sir, it's my envelope. Doctor, give me the envelope. What are you giving her this huge sum amount for? Uh, um, 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 sir, I, I can explain. Oh, you sure will explain this. I assure you, explain this. I'm going to 
ask you this question for the very last time. Why did you give her this money? Sir, I have told you the truth. She was the one who gave me the money. I know he will never say the truth. And no student will ever tell you the truth. Andrew, you are not a teacher. You are a destroyer. And you, Philippa, I'm sure he gave you that money for an abortion. No, ma. The whole class contributed the money. Will you shut up? <laughs> The whole class contributed the money. And what were you doing alone with him in the staff room? What? Doing what? Every time. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Are you the only teacher in this school? Why must it be you all the time? The other time it was your birthday, Palava. Now it was you and the female student alone in the staff room. Please, my, it's all my fault. He, he didn't want me to come to the staff room, but I insisted. Will you shut up? Liar. Why would you be giving him money? Reverend, please. Yes, ma'am. You will go with her to her classroom to confirm this story. Okay. Because I don't I don't believe this nonsense both of them are telling us here. I think that should be the best solution. Get up! Get up! What are you still doing here? Get out of my office! Be the children of God you are to say the truth. <coughs> Having the conscience to practice justice to the core. I have a question for you all here. And I want you to answer me in one voice. Your monitress here said you all contributed to something. So I'm going to ask this question once and you will answer me. Did you or not contribute monies together for any purpose? We did. We did. You did? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Harry, will you please tell me what you contributed this monies for? Sir, we all contributed the money just to show him how, how much we love and care for him. And at the same time, compensate him for the missing lesson notes. Go on, sit down. Sit down. That should be all for now. Hello. Hi. Our topic today is stock exchange. Who can define what is stock exchange? Look, seriously, Raphael, I don't know what to do. I mean, sh should I displease myself to please my students? No, tell me. You see, Andrew. As far as I know, those students love you and really want you. And if you remain with them, there is a guarantee of greater things they will do for you in future. Don't mind migrants. After all, you don't go there to teach her. Look, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid that woman may hurt me. She will not succeed. As long as your hands are clean. Raphael, migrants. 
promise could be dangerous. I've told you, just to do the right thing and look up to God. <laughs> The current supplied by a battery flows in a single direction, except its terminals are reversed. Now this kind of current is called direct current. Now, I've talked about direct current. I'll tell you about alternating current. The current supplied by an AC generator flows back and forth in its wire. Now this kind of current, which its direction is always reversed continuously, is called alternating Massey, come here. Come here. Come here, come here. Come here. Now, there is no single day you do not come to school late. Now, tell me why. Besides my parents. What about your parents? We will start our morning devotion by 7.30 and finish by 8.30. And, and I won't have my breakfast unless we finish. After that, I'll have to trek from my house to school, which is about an hour journey. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Yes. And whenever I complain to them that I come to school late, they beat me instead. And they are your true parents? My mother started maltreating me after she got married to my stepfather. It's alright, um, see me after school hours. I'll give you a letter to your parents. You can go back to your seat. Now, class, I was talking about alternating current. Marrying each other. Are you the one marrying me or am I marrying you? Hmm, interesting. Thank God you said you came to me because of my money. Look at this talker. I cleaned you up, made you what you are, nurtured you. Then now you feel you have the mouth to talk to, to me. Look at you, the golo that goes to women because of their money. You're going to step foot inside this marriage, whether you like it or not. Your daughter? She has gone to her school to tarnish my image. And I've told you time with that number. Send this girl back to her father's relations and he wouldn't listen. For what? Treat this girl like your own daughter. She is your stepdaughter and not your slave. Clement, I keep telling you that. Good. She is my stepdaughter. That's what I said. Obviously, she is not my own daughter. No. 
Send her back to her father's relation, please. And I want to be with my own family. And that is it. Mm, your own family? Get your own family now. And you, why did you tell your teacher? I'm asking you, why did you tell your teacher? Basket mom. What sort of a wife is this that a man cannot have a piece of time in his own house? What sort of rubbish is this?
since when did you start sitting down to do your worship? Mercy! Oh. Am I now a ghost that when you see me, you get frightened? And what is wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. Then why are you holding your hand to me? Mercy, Chuku! What is wrong with you? Nothing. Come now. <laughs> I don't want to believe what I feel. What is wrong with you? And since when did you start working on this? Hey! for crying out loud. I am a nurse and I couldn't have said what I just said if I did not take a proper check on her. This is hard to believe, alright? This is hard to believe. What does Machi know about meeting a man? And that is what I intend to find out now. Then, have you asked her and what, what did she say? I did not ask her anything. I just decided to seek your consent first before I pounce on her. I'm going to kill her! This is too filthy to talk about this man. All right? But if I discover that this is true, only heaven will stop my action. Now, where is she? The stupid girl is in the kitchen. Go and get her. in Dick's house until your mother and I return. God save you if you don't tell us the fool that has been sleeping with you. Do you understand? Now, woman, let us go. I said let us go! I will kill you. Tell me who has been sleeping with you. Maybe. Who knows I can save you from your mother's rot. Nobody saves you. Except who? I bought something special. Very special for you. Right. Take a look at this. What is this? It's, it's a knife. No, not perfectly correct. All right? This is a well sharpened knife. Do you understand? What is this? I said, what is this? I, I don't know what it is. Good. This substance 
is poisonous and it can kill you. All right? Now, if you ever say that nobody slept with you, that means you've chosen to die by this knife. And if you ever say that I slept with you, you have chosen to die by this price. Now, who has been sleeping with you? Somebody. Good. Somebody has been sleeping with you. All right? Now, if you ever say that I slept with you, I am going to kill you. And after killing you, I am going to kill your mother. Now, the only thing that is going to save you is by you finding someone else to mention. Now, tell me the places you do visit. It's only the church and my school. It can't be the church. Alright? Now, do you have any grown up boy in your classroom? Good. Now go. Go. No, 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 wait, wait. Do you have any teacher in your school that is not yet married? Yes, but you can't do it. Shut up. Now, what? Is his name? I said, What is his name? His name is Mr. Andrew. Good. If you ever, if you ever tell your mother that I slept with you, I'm going to kill you. And not only that, I'm going to kill you. I am going to kill your mother. Do you understand? Now go. I said go. Mama, Mama, come. Mama, I wish you a wonderful, excellent, good afternoon like I'm having today. <laughs> Amen. 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 Mama, Mama, I am marching on. Mama, I said your son is marching on. Amen. <laughs> Andrew, please tell me what makes this afternoon so special. Mama, <laughs> tell me the good news. I can't help my curiosity anymore. Mama, just guess. I should guess. Just guess. What could make you happy from school? Okay. You have found your missing lesson notes. And my grace have paid you for last month. Mama, you're far from that. You are so, so far from that. Really? Mama. You see, the good news is that I'm finally leaving my grace. Praise the Lord! Yeah, Mama, <laughs> Mama, and the better news is I finally got an appointment somewhere else. The name of the school is Breadwinners International College. Mama, you need to see the school. It is wonderful. I mean, it, it, it's so organized. The management is something else. Praise yeah. the Lord! Yeah, Lord, I thank you. My soul, I'm so happy. That you're finally leaving the satanic dungeon called my grace. But have you formally informed her? Uh, no, I haven't. You see, I, I got the phone call regarding my appointments this afternoon. So I'll tell my grace tomorrow. Okay? But Mama, the surprising thing is that the owner of the school told me that even if I work with her for a week, she will pay my one month salary. Hey, praise the Lord! I have a miracle gone. I have a miracle gone. I have a miracle gone. Praise the Lord. I have a miracle gone. Oh God, I thank you. I bless you only because you are God. You are so good. You are so marvelous. Now, this whip is for your body. Hmm? And this paper here. It's for your eyes. Now, the only thing that is going to save you is by you telling us the truth. It is better you say the truth now. Because if you don't tell us the truth, I swear to God, I will kill you. And I'm going to you, you know what? If I kill you, I will defend myself anywhere. I am your mother. Dr. 
allow me to pass on you. Hmm. You've had your mother. Hmm? Now, tell us the truth. Who has been sleeping with you? Are you deaf? I said, who has been sleeping with you? Stand. What? You mean your teacher has been sleeping with you? Oh God, miss. You were sent to school to go and study, and what you did was to go and start sleeping with your teacher. Hey, must you? Why now? Eh? Take it easy. At what age? At what age? I'm asking you. At fourteen. Don't beat her, alright? Let her not be as if she confessed under duress. Okay? This is unbelievable. As for that, your teacher. Oh my God. God will punish him. By the time I am through with him, eh? Hey, it will be better for him that a trailer crossed him. As for you. You, must you. As for you. By the time I finish with you. By the time I am through with you. You will know that I am your mother. You should do help. You help me as a mother. Hey, this guy has finished me once. Oh God! You see, don't threaten her, all right? You see, we've asked her for the truth, and she 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 cooperated, all right? Let's take it easy on her so that she can be able to tell us more, okay? Now, how does this happen? Don't you talk again? He asked me to take his bag home. I wanna reach. He will force me and rape me. What? You see? He rapes you. It's okay, it's okay. You see? Mr. See? Andrew raps my own daughter. Hey, hey! You see why I said we should take it easy on her? Right? But before God and man, I am going to fight that teacher and I'm going to fight him to the last. Just have that in mind. Masitu. Masitu, you have you have finished me. You 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 have As for your teacher. Sad news. It is so horrible that I don't even want to talk about it. I am going mad with it. I don't want to talk about it. Does it concern the school? Well, madam, like my wife said, it is very hard for us to say. I think Mercy will be in a better position to say it herself. Mercy, what is it? It's, it's Mr. Andrew. Mr. Andrew? What about Mr. Andrew? He, he would take me to his house. He would tell me not to tell anybody that if I do, he would kill me. As I wanted to run, he pulled me back and locked the door. He, he, he then pushed me on top of the bed and, and tore my pants. Yes, go on, go on. He... he 
He then slept on me and forced me. What? He did what? God. I knew a day like this would come. Madam, have you been observing anything like this? Not exactly, but I knew he had this thing with these children. Well, I noticed the pain she was having, and I carried out a check on her, only to discover that she had started sleeping with a man. I, I want to thank you for coming to me first. But um, there's something I would like to ask your daughter. Masi, what you just told me now, can you repeat it anywhere? Yes, ma'am. Once again, I'll say thank you very much for coming to me first. And I'll, I'll make sure that the law takes its due course. Please, if you don't mind, I'll ask you to come back in two days. That's okay. I'm so sorry for everything. It's okay. I'm really very sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Andrew, I will make sure you regret everything. This is the end of the road for you. Before we go ahead, I'd like us to close our eyes, bow our heads, so we can say a word of prayer. I said close your eyes! In the name of Jesus, our Father will thank you for this day. We we'll thank you for this once. We we'll thank you for life. As we teach them today, I pray that you open their innermost mind and make them to understand it. Madam, I have come to tell you something. What is it? I don't think I can continue working here. I don't understand. Madam, I've come to resign my appointment with you. Um, I have gotten myself another job. And uh, you're ready to go? You've made up your mind to go? Yes, madam. Well, I think you're old enough to know what is good for you. Since you've decided to go, it's okay. You will see me tomorrow to pick up your 
last month's salary. Madam, tomorrow is public holiday. Yes, that is why it is better for you to come. Since you can't leave your job on a working day. All right, madam. Thank you very much. You know what you have done, that is why you're running away. But I'll so disgrace you that no school will ever take you. Have you guys heard the latest news? What? A friend of mine from Winners College told me yesterday that he saw Mr. Andrew teaching in their school. Harry, do you mean what you are saying? I'm sure. I even inquired and the right source confirmed it. If eventually Mr. Andrew leaves this school, I must go with him. Oh. In fact, everybody will leave this school and Margaret will regret her wickedness. Hmm. If not because of Mr. Andrew, I would have changed from this school since. I just, I just hate everything about that woman. People are even hating her for the wrong reasons. Now, can you imagine that woman divorcing her husband? Huh? Imagine a woman divorcing her own husband. Oh. Before, do you think that kind of woman would ever respect her husband? And she claims to be born again. Eh? Born again, my Born what? Born what? Born You think being born again is only when you don't wear trouser pants and preaching all over the school, all over the place? Listen, that woman is devilish. I even heard that the reason of devils was because she couldn't follow a male child. Hey! And God will never give her. Amen! Amen! So, madam, um, when did he say he's coming? I told him 11 a.m. and this is past four. He's not here. Um, why don't you call his mobile line? Huh? He may not pick my calls. Then hide your number and call him. You're making a lot of sense. That's what I'm going to do now. Andrew, this is Margaret. Why are you keeping everybody waiting? I told you 11 o'clock. Why are you not still here? Okay, okay, we're waiting. He said he's on his way. That boy is a rogue. He suddenly changed his voice when he knew I was the one calling. You see? Because he knows his cup is full. That is why he refused to come at the agreed time. And I wonder how many of our girls could be on his list. Shh, shh. Let's keep quiet, he said. Stanjo, why did you decide to keep everybody waiting? Uh, I'm sorry, madam. I had a few things to do at home. Whatever. Did you notice that Masi has not been coming to school? Uh, not really, madam, except uh, for yesterday, I expected her to give me the reply to the letter I sent to her parents. What letter? I mean, what letter did you send to her parents? Excuse me, why are you shouting at me like that? Um, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen, listen, listen, listen to me, eh? This is not the way to start. Allow us to handle this matter, okay? Thank you. Uh, Mr. Andrew. Sir. I want you to tell us the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. What is going on between you and this little girl? Excuse me, pardon? Pardon what? Look, look, look. You are the devil here. Listen, 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 mister. I've respected you enough, okay? I won't have you insulted. You have already insulted yourself, you shameless ego. Madam, madam, what's going on here? What's really happening? Andrew, you have disgraced yourself. I am so ashamed of you. Masi, can you repeat what you told us that Mr. Andrew was doing to you? Say it. Nobody will hurt you. Go on, talk. He, 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 he will take me to his house. He will tell me not to tell anybody, but if I do, he will kill me. As, as I wanted to run, he, he pulled me back and locked the door. 
he then pushed me on top of the bed and and see your life and tore my pants he then forced me out he slept on me mercy shut up your mouth man no you shut up shut up oh, shut, shut up please shut up Excuse I... me, let everybody sit down. Okay, madam, okay. No, this is, this is highly... Shut up! What kind of gang up is this? Shut up! What part of the shut up do you not understand? I don't know, English, English you? teacher. I guess I have to call the police. Oh yes, oh yes, we have things that should be investigated. Oh, this, uh, we don't want any such things. Hello? Is that the DPO? My what name is Margaret. Respect yourself. Please you send some of your men to my school right now. There's a criminal here. Yes. Mercy! What have I done to you? Tell me what did I do? How can a girl of her age eh, be messing around with men? Eh? What does she want that we don't provide for her? Still, she, she is uncomfortable. Eh? Anyway, please, Reverend, anyhow you want to deal with her, eh? you have our hundred percent support. Philippa, so all this while, when I preach to you, 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 you mock me inwardly, right? No, sir. No, sir. So why did you fornicate? I'm sorry, I promise I will not. Don't shut up your mouth there! You liar! You, you! It's okay, madam. Yeah, it's okay. Please, please sit down. Sit down, madam. You see, good enough, you trust us enough to want to report your daughter to us. And I assure you that I will show my unreserved interest in this matter. I will make sure. She's met her with the due punishment that she will never think of such in her life again. Okay, Reverend. I want her humiliated publicly. Let the whole school, I say let the whole school know she is a prostitute. It's okay, it's okay. I, I know how to handle that time. I know. Now you kneel down here. Come on, kneel down. Raise your hands. Close your eyes. All right, madam, when I'm done with her, I'll get back to you, okay? I'll see you when I get back to you. Okay, Reverend. You are a disgrace to this school. Put down your hands. Upon all the moral lessons we give to you, yet you choose to disgrace us. In fact, it's yourself you're disgracing. What is this? What is this? What? N now tell me what happened. He was touching me. He was touching you. A man can touch you anywhere. He can touch you on the head, touch you on the nose, touch you on the body. You, you won't mess up unless you want to mess up. It's you that chose to mess up. Huh? Well, he was touching here and here. Yeah. I was touching you where? Yeah, I'm here. I was touching you here. Yeah. He said he was touching you here. Eh? Huh? And he was touching you here. So when he was touching you here and here and here and here. Well, why did you why well, why did you allow him to do something to you? Nothing. Well, well he said he touched you here and touched you here. If you don't want to do anything, will you do anything? So when he touched you here and here, what did you do? Nothing. 
No, tell me the truth. When he touched you? Nothing. What did you do when he touched you? <laughs> Nothing. So he touched you? Okay, get up. Uh, drop your bag. Go to my toilet. I have a special day. I'm going to change it to something good. And then come out. Rubbish. Actually, as she said, we came for Andrew's case. So we would like you to give us guidelines to the bailing process. As you can see, this is Andrew's case file. I'm taking it to the DPO. But he's due for court tomorrow. Court? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. My son is not guilty. Can we really follow you to the DPO? <laughs> you can come. That's okay. So that's what they down. The Lord can do everything. <laughs> Especially for you, you know. Ah, you won't, I won't be caught dead doing that to any other student in the school. Bet me. The moment I stepped into your class, I saw my wife. Mm. You're my wife. Mm. <laughs> oh, are you too young to get married? Of course you know I'm too young for marriage. No, 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 you're not. Come on, you're a big girl. See, the moment you're done from school, I mean, you finish your secondary education, I intend to fly you with me to Rome so you can do your university education there. Rome? Yeah. Are you saying you want to take me to Rome? Sure, that's why I'm here. To find a wife, suitable wife for myself in my fatherland and resume to Rome and start a life. Okay then, yes. I'll marry you. Oh. I'm tired of this country. Then give me that which belongs to me. Come on. Ah, <laughs> come on. Oh, my God. 
Ja. Not so comfortable with this imprisonment. Reverend, it is the best. At least let the whole world know that I'm a woman of justice. Let me see how those students and their parents can bring him back this time. In that case, we, we have to be extra careful with the students. I mean, um, lots of them believe this whole thing is a frame up. This may affect our population in the next term. That's my problem. Well, Reverend, I'm leaving that assignment to you. Go closer to the children. Show them lots of love. Play with them. Prove to them that you are better than Andrew. Jagima Bina Imarama Iguna Yakina Obi Maki Jumanya Ego Iwe Gimbawe Otigo Nedi Kaki Ibu Alpha <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, <laughs> Lord, I bless your name because it is in you that we live and move and have our being. Thank you, O oh God, because you said that we shall not be anxious of anything. But by prayer and supplication, we shall make our request known unto you. For you care for us. <laughs> Father, you were there with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You were there even with Daniel in the lion's den. <laughs> Father, I know you are out there watching, watching my son Andrew. Why should he eat a strange and imagine venti? Lord, <laughs> I will not let you go unless you free my son. I will not let you go. <laughs> you come here, don't they want to forget to ask you? Tell me, ask you, I'll be one man who's you. Police, what think they worry you? I'm waiting to ask you, which offense you commit? Tell me, I want to carry you for your Which offense you commit? Which offense where you commit? So here I don't become heaven. Where person will not commit anything they enter. Abi. You don't want to talk to me. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm here because I'm here because I, I, I'm being accused of, of raping 
by my, my female student, a girl of 14. That's what you did teach for your class, Abi. Chairman, I did not do it. Shut up! You know the man? Abi! No, they work. Eh? Um, Chairman, I did suggest say, uh, as in the teacher. Eh? Men, the teachers, people were there inside this place, including people where go enter. As we know, go school. Abi, you talk to me. From today, now you go be our teacher. You could teach every one of us. All of us were there here. You could teach all of us. Plus the people we could enter me. Yeah? Which which people you they teach and which you they teach them? I, 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 I teach in a secondary school. I'm, I'm very vast. I, I teach um, Christian religious knowledge, mathematics. Okay, okay, okay. You they teach everything. From today, now you go be our teacher. Eh? Other people where they come, you go teach them. Uh, Bakuna, clap. <laughs> Fine boy, teacher, a piece. Harry. So, are you sure you saw her taking the money? I'm very, very sure, sir. In fact, I'm 100% sure. When we all went out for sports, Master Kole asked me to go get his skin from the classroom. Uh, when I entered the class, I saw her dragging his blessing school bag and she was shocked the moment she saw me. Elena, I will ask you for the very last time. Where is the money? Sir, I did not. I didn't take any money. Lie. When Harry came into the classroom, did he ever see you with blessing's bag? Um, the, the, the bag was on the floor, so I, I helped the owner to pick it up. And what were you doing in the classroom when Every other of your mates had gone to the sports center. I, I, I went to adjust my sports event. Then the money grew wings and disappeared, right? That's what you want me to believe. I'll prove to you that I know how to handle people like you. Okay, come this way. As you refuse to say the truth. Nina! Harry. So, thank you very much. In fact, I'm proud of you. We need more of your type in this school, you know. Kids who can always say the truth. And you're good as okay? Good Go back to your classroom. I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. What sign were you giving to him? Sorry, Where's your hands? I didn't make any sign. Where's the money? I didn't make any sign. I'll get up. Hello! I have to search you. I'm sure you've stolen some money. Come here! Where's the money? Come here. Come here! Move again, I'll slap you. Are you, are you okay? What's wrong with you? Huh? My friend, come here. What, 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 what is this? What is it? Oh, sorry, bring, bring it out, bring it out. I want sorry, to see. Sorry, sir, please, sir. It's, it's, it's. Okay, alright, come here. Bring it out. Sir, please, it's a mistake. Bring it out first. Oh. So you actually stole the money. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. I know it won't happen again. Of course it won't happen again. 
You are a disgrace to this school. And I will show you, I will, I will use you as an example to the entire school. I'm going to take you around each classroom and you're going to get six strokes of my cane. Okay? I think I'm joking. Now turn around. I need to search you more for that money. How many money? How, many, how much have you stolen for that today? My friends, what is wrong with you? Just this one for you. Wait a minute. I want to see if you have other people's money with you. Yes, there's still some money with you. No. Hence, your body has become bank. No, eh? only that money one. Money bank, only that one, you're sure? No. Hey, no. Are, you, are you crazy? No. Shut sure. up. What is wrong with you? Stay, stay. Stop crying, okay? I pardon you. I forgive you. And I'll make sure nobody hears about this. Alright? Something just suddenly, you know, pricked me. And I felt this, this love for you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Make sure nobody hears about this, okay? You have to behave yourself, okay? Hmm? Yeah, come here. Come here. Now go. Go to my toilet and wash your face, okay? You've been crying. Come on. Go. Go. <laughs> There's a problem, a serious problem. There has been an accident. Accident? Honestly, an accident. Holy oh, Jesus. I, I, I hope nothing happened to you. The, I'm fine, I'm fine. But the, 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 the bus driver, the school bus driver, is lying critically in the hospital. Jesus. After knocking down a young boy. I don't know if that boy is going to survive it or not. What? The school bus is is damaged beyond repair. After, after running into, in, into a big tree, Reverend, please, you really have to pray for me. Please, you have to pray for me. You need to pray for me, please. Come on, son. Just oh. give me your hands. Mm. Holy Father, the rock of Gilbrata, the man of Zion, Lord, we look up to you today. So when solving problems on fractions, addition and subtraction, which is plus and minus, must be treated as one family. Likewise, multiplication and division. Now, if an expression contains only plus and minus, you don't need to apply the rule of board mass. Also, if an expression contains multiplication and division, the rule of board mass does not apply. But if the two families are mixed in one expression, then you can apply the rule of board mass. Now, who can tell me the full meaning of board mass? <clears throat> board mass 
mean bracket of division multiplication yes addition and subtraction <laughs> <laughs> Since mathematics is a practical subject, I will show you some more examples to express this theory. Good. Now, two. Good morning, sit down, everybody. Okay, everybody stand up so we can say a word of prayer. So we can start. Stand up so we can pray. I said, stand up! Sir, she's not feeling fine. Will you shut up? Up! Did you hear me clearly? I said, stand up! Why are you bleeding? I said, why are you bleeding? Your period, and you don't know how to wear sanitary pad. That's very responsible of you. Get out. Go to the sick bay now. Get out. I'm going to treat yourself. Out, out, out. Everybody close your eyes. Let's say a word of prayer. And thank God for the life he has given us. In Jesus' name. Amen. How is she? She's okay, but this is beyond ordinary menstruation. What do you mean this is beyond ordinary menstruation? She had an abortion. What? She had an abort? Yes, sir, but she'll be fine. Abortion? Okay, when she wakes up, um, bring her to my office. You see, uh, I would love it if you tell me the truth. I mean, confide in me. Tell me the whole truth and nothing but the truth. At this point, I won't want you to see me as your principal. Just see me as your bosom friend, your pal. You know, tell me the truth. The question I'm, I'm about asking you now. It's not as if I don't know the answer. I sure know the answer. But I want you to tell me the truth. Did you have an abortion? I... I... No, no, no. Try and understand me. Listen, I love you so much and nothing will change that. Not even your whatever stays. Okay? 
Maybe you don't understand me, okay? I'll prove it to you. Now that you've told me the truth, you see, and maybe it's God's will that you be my wife someday, and maybe it's His will that these things will bring us together. You see, all this while when I see you in classroom, I feel I feel I love this girl, you know, and I want to marry her. And it's just a feeling inside of me. Will you marry me? Because I really have your boyfriend. No, 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 but he's not your husband. He's not. I'm for real, girl. Maybe when you leave your secondary school, you become my wife. And I'll fly you abroad. Huh? Then we'll be together. Come on. Hmm? Now come into my hands. to daddy's hand, come on. Organization is a branch of mathematics that deals between the difference between one quantity and another. Now, differentiation is divided into two, calculus and integration. Now, this branch of mathematics was derived or formed by two different people. One, Newton. Two, Leibniz. Now, calculus. Um, sister, your son is a great man. Because what has happened to him cannot happen to an ordinary man. But do not see it as the end of the road. See it as a transition to greatness, your son's greatness. By the time you realize what God has in store for you after this problem, you will know that our God is truly wonderful. My beloved sister, please see this problem as an evidence that your son is moving ahead. Do not forget what our Lord Jesus Christ said in the book of St. John chapter 16 verse 33 and Revelation chapter 7 verse 14. May the peace of the Lord be unto you. Amen. Pastor. <sighs> Thank you very much for your word of encouragement. My prayer is that the good Lord will bless you. But Pastor, Pastor, 21 years is too long for me to be at this pain all alone in this place. Oh, but eternity is so long for you to enjoy the blessing of the Lord. The only thing you need now is faith and hope. Only that can make miracles happen. Let us pray, sister. My Lord and my God, you said it in your word that those hoping on you is like Mountain Zion that will never be moved. I want you to impart that word in this, my sister, oh Lord. Doing on him. 
You look that thing from his hand. Come on. No, 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 no. Make yourself comfortable. Sit down. You're a man. Sit down. So how come such a good teacher? Sir, that was what I did before I got locked up, sir. Where were you locked up? Sir, I, I was accused of raping one of my female students. But, sir, believe me, I didn't do it. That's it fast, huh? It's okay. Relax. Huh? Relax. Relax. Do you still have the zeal to teach? Yes, sir. It's my calling. That, that's what I'll continue doing forever, sir. Well, I'm currently, I'm running a part-time program in one of these universities. So, um, I would like you to be my personal teacher. Sir? It's okay, it's okay. Um, if I need, Sir. Um, take good care of him, eh? Watch him up and then. Uh, I'll see you later. The just shall live by faith. The innocent will be vindicated. It doesn't matter. How long it takes Just God will judge the case Nika, how dare you badge into my office that way? Huh? Have you lost your manners? Are you okay? There's a problem. Problem? What problem? Okay, now, sit down. So, what is the problem? Okay, I've been vomiting for the past three days now. So, I went for a medical checkup. And the test result confirms that I'm pregnant. Is that why you're sad? Sir? <laughs> I mean, yes, you, you can be sad when there, there is a solution. What solution? Listen, do you want to have a child while you're still in secondary school? I don't know, they're in your hands. Girl, beautiful. Yeah, I remember that I told you that I was going to marry you. Fine, but now you're pregnant. You can't, you can't carry pregnancy in school and we can't get married while you're pregnant. So we have to abort it. That's the way out. Abortion? I can't. For God's sake, that's risky. That's not healthy for me. I'd rather keep the pregnancy. For who? For who? For you, of course. You must, really must be mental. Kolo, mental case. Huh? Look, you, what do you think you're doing? Look, get up. Up, get up, get up, up. Better. Now, out. Now, leave my office. Now, leave. You so scared at your age. I'm getting pregnant. The moment I stepped into your class, I saw my wife. Mm. You're my wife. <laughs> oh, are you too young to get married? Of course you know I'm too young for marriage. What? Uh, please, don't, don't, don't go away. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on. Come, come, come on, darling. Come on. 
talk. Come on. Uh, sit down. Sit. Sit down. I won't be needing a seat anymore. Oh, okay, what do you want? You promised you will marry me. Oh, yes, yes, I, I remember I said so. Yes. Fine, I want that marriage now. But, but look at it, Philippa. You can get married now. You're still in school and you, you know everything. Oh, really? Know? Yes. Oh, you didn't remember I was still in school when you impregnated me. Fine. Let's strike a deal. I want 50% of your salary every month. No, that's not possible. Eh? Oh, what? Really? How are you gonna take my... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Come on, baby. Honey, come What's, what's the problem? I agree. Fine. Let me get a salary ledger. You don't have to see. You have to look at my ledger. I need to know what I'm entitled to every month. Salary ledger. Do you really mean I should give you my salary? Oh, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. It, it, it's, it's right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do you have to do this? You're not really down with this business, are you? I, I, I don't know, but you, you, you look at your conscience. Okay, have a oh, oh, fine. It's okay. Go ahead. Ready for business. Mm. My principal, my principal, yes. Mm. Not bad. Fifty. Fifty for me every month. Fifty for you. I'm concentrating, am I not? Oh, very, 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 very concentrated. Oh. Deal. Oh, deal. 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 Oh now, the preceding properties can be used to simplify the square roots of numbers. For example, square root of 96 could be broken down to square root of 16 times 6 which is further broken down to root 16 times root 6 now you know the square root of 16 don't you which is 4 so 4 root 6 now 4 root 6 is the simplest form of the square root of 96 so are we communicating? I'm with you. You're such a good teacher. Even my professor could not break it down like this to me. It's such a wonderful. Uh, let's continue, sir. Hi. Now, the square root of. I'm, I'm so tired. I need some rest. All right, sir. Yeah.
walk, walk for my sake, please. Masi <coughs> Chukun. <coughs> 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 Oh my god, what is happening to me now? Hey, this has grown beyond ordinary to be dogs. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Every hand that is holding my family to captivity and come against me, so in the mighty name of Jesus. Any and any kind of enemy in my family for that. Holy Ghost for that. Holy Ghost for that. Holy Ghost for that. God, you are the Lord and He led me. Oh God, I don't know what to say again. God, I come to you in prayer. Please help me now. There's no other place I can go. What is happening to me? That's all we have to say. The little boy has finally given up. God of mercy. God. And his family is demanding for the sum of 10 million naira as compensation. What? Where on earth am I going to get that kind of money from? That's a huge amount. Uh, what if we take them to court? The father of the boy in question is a lawyer. And he's related to the governor of the state. Oh, terrible. This is really terrible. Reverend, I don't know what to do. I think my husband has a hand in what is going on. Your husband? Yes. He's a cultist. Ever since I divorced him, he's been making this life miserable for me. He even asked me to quit this environment. Uh, you mean as in quit this site? Please sit down. Thank you, but I've not come to stay. Do you remember I promised you that I'm gonna treat you like my wife? Okay? Yeah, I have something very special for my baby. Yeah. So we can share this, you know, and um, cheers to our newfound life. A newfound us. So, uh, why don't you toast to our love? This would be just fine, but I want the money first. Oh, why not? Come on, you, you have the money, you get the money. Here. 55,000 Naira. I added 5,000 Naira to prove to you that it's from my heart, this whole thing in scam, you know? I mean it. And I said, you're mad. So, can we have a toast to a new found wife. For the drinks, let's drink. Mmm. Us. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for this. Exactly what he told me. That he's your only son. And he gave me this to give to you. What for? If they've killed him, why not tell me? Just go ahead and tell me that they've killed my son. Why are you giving me envelope? What for? Eh? I believe, madam, that this envelope will tell better. not a blood stinking money. This is a real money. on the line. Speak with him. Hello? Mama? Andrew! Is this Andrew's voice? <laughs> yes, Mama. It's my voice. Andrew! Andrew, do you have a phone in prison? <laughs> Mama, you can more or less say I'm in the palace now, yes. Eh? Which palace, Andrew? Hey! And I know you've not escaped with other prisoners, eh, Andrew? Uh, of course not, of course not. You see, uh, the innocent cannot cry forever. Problems sometimes mean uh, progress to the righteous. Yes. Uh, Mama, uh, with the money I sent you, um, please uh, uh, um, get a house in the city. Eh? Two years, right? Yes, you shall see me soon, Mama. I might have to go now. I don't know. Bye. Hello? Hello? Hey! Andrew! Hey, God! Hey, Andrew is alive! Now. Hey! Andrew! Hey! Andrew! Hey, bless God! Hey! Andrew is alive! Wait, oh, excuse me. What 
am I going to see Andrew? Oh, madam. Very soon. It's well with him. Hey! God! Hey! Andrew! Praise the Lord! Hey! Andrew is alive! Hey! My son is alive! Threatening to kill me if I don't tell her, impregnated me. Oh, oh, is that why you're crying? Oh, no, you don't have to cry over that. I mean, uh, just I promised I was going to marry you. Huh? Yes, getting pregnant only makes it faster. So, wipe your tears. Huh? Sir, won't I finish my secondary school? No. You follow your education abroad. Look, just, just go ahead. Tell your mother I'm the father of your baby. Okay? Sir, so you want it? Yes. Of course. And I mean it, okay? Now wipe your tears, come on. Wipe your tears. Hmm? Wipe your tears. Listen, let me give you a drink. So we can celebrate our new found love. Huh? Yeah. Huh? You see, my girl, I don't know why you allow yourself to be bothered by these things. Hmm? I told you I love you, and you don't know I mean it.
I am tired of all this thing, honestly. You are dying. Yet you refuse me to go and call the passport. Why are you just being stubborn? Why are you being stubborn on my calling this passport? I can't carry this thing alone again. I'm going to call him. This is more than I can carry on. This one is no more ordinary sickness. So. <coughs> Such is life. Let God Almighty replenish your family according to his riches and glory. Amen. By the virtue of what has happened, let us remember that there is God in heaven who is the owner of our lives. Let us lift ourselves in spirit and pray to God because we know that someday a day we do not know that we all are going to answer to this glorious call. Let us pray to God. Mr. Raphael, please lead us in prayer. Our God in heaven, you can see our hearts are heavy, but we blame you not. Because we know that in you we have hope for greater things to come. May the soul of our beloved daughter and sister rest in perfect peace of God the Almighty. Amen. Yes. She's gone. I must not let them tarnish my image. The whole world sees me as a holy man. And I must do anything to protect this integrity. Yes. Anything. Send out your power. We press the Lord. Lord Jesus, send out your Holy Ghost. We send Father, send out your power. We press the Lord. Send out your Holy Ghost. We send in Jesus' mighty name. Father, you say we should call upon you in our times of trouble, and you will be there to answer us. Everlasting King, the King of Kings, the Rock of Ages, the Omnipotent, the Only Science, Father. I call upon you to send down your Holy Ghost upon these children right now. Heal them, Lord Jesus. Send your healing power upon them, Father. Heal them, Jesus. Deliver them, Lord Jesus, from the sickness. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Blood of Jesus, set them free. Blood of Jesus, set them free. Oh, yes, Lord God. Every evil force that is responsible for their sickness, I come against them. I rebuke them. I destroy them. I terminate them. I cast them into the everlasting mist of fire. Shanta Barashita, oh Jesus. I trust in you. Please come down, Father. Come down, Lord Jesus. You are the Lord. 
Vahi let You will not die. Tell that devil, you will not die. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, touch this people, touch the Father Shaka. Heal them, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. No, Madam, Madam, the spirit of the Lord you just ministered. And what did it say? We have to search for that man. We must seek for his forgiveness. And what are we waiting for? Anything, anything. I just want my daughter to be healed. Father, let's go, let's go. Is there any way we can get her new address? I don't know the address. You mean? Nobody know where they're living now. I can't just tell. How? Madam, any problem? No, no, no. It's all right. It's okay. I hope there's no problem. It's all right. 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 It's all right
Madam, madam, it's okay. It's okay. You don't need to cry. Rather, we need to search for him. Okay? Let's, let's go to the school. We go. The more time it wastes, the more harm. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, he's truly innocent. Please don't say that again. Yes, madam. The young man is suffering from an offense her husband actually committed. What? Her husband raped Mercy? His own stepdaughter? I'm afraid so. We even went down to the prison in search of the young man, but he's nowhere to be found. Hi. Look, madam. For your own good, don't let another ear hear this. Just close this matter now. No, madam. I am not a supporter of evil. The truth has been told. So, let Howard say it. What am I protecting again? What? Have you thought about the disgrace? Madam, there's no disgrace as worse as that which that young man has passed through. Let us endeavor to see good and call it good. If you had investigated this matter from the initial point, that young man wouldn't have felt the prison. Wait, oh. Are you now blaming me for his imprisonment? What about the mother of the poor child? Of course she's not left out. See, I keep saying, you don't hate a child to train a child. You love the child in order to bring him up. I really don't know what's really wrong with our parents these days. Most parents feel that being harsh on their children is the best way to make them grow up responsibly. Whereas it is not. Can you imagine how many adults die every blessed day as a result of high blood pressure? Can you? Well, most of them develop this problem from childhood. And as for you, madam, if you had treated your daughter with love, she would be able to open up and confide in you. You see, you have a great tax ahead of you. And until you look out for that young man, this image of a thing you're trying to protect will be humiliated. You need to search for him. You need to. I couldn't touch my father. I had to sneak out of the house. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. See, I, I was missing you in school today terribly. That's why I had to, you know, they should come so we can just be together. So what do you want me to do? Ah, oh, usual stuff. Hmm? No more thing. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't have it this time. I need to start going immediately. Lillian, what's wrong with you? Why can't you, I mean, I mean, five minutes just won't be enough. In five minutes, I'm done. That is what you always say. But please, this time, I won't spend more than five minutes. Oh, that's my girl. Come on.
what shall we do? And to ask the Almighty to grant each and every one of us here the fortitude to bear this great loss. But it is a painful and shameful death for a young girl of her age to die in a hotel room. Only God knows the kind of pleasure she went to seek in that hotel that led her to her untimely death. Her early grave. So this serves as a deterrent, serves as a lesson to all the teenagers, living teenagers in this place today. That living a responsible life can be equated to living a long life. This is an irresponsible life. So, what more shall I say? Above all, we want to crave God to give everybody here the heart to believe in Him and to also know that He alone giveth and He has chosen to take away. May her soul rest in perfect peace. Reverend Prato killed you. 
And that's why we have come to support you to destroy him. So come close and hold our hands. There are many fellow students in this mortgage, including you. And there's only one way to escape this. And that way is this way. By holding our hands. from what? Mm. You're my wife. Mm. <laughs> oh, are you too young to get married? Of course you know I'm too young for marriage. No, 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 you're not. I don't need it anymore. I, I don't know what came up for me this past few days. I'm very sorry. You're a very special person. I don't know why I should tell you the way I did. I believe you really wanted to marry me. And I'm, I'm sorry. I still love you. But I don't know. Do you still love me? Of course I still do. Have you forgiven me? And you're quite forgiven. I see it. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's me, baby. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So I'm going to give you what rightfully belongs to you. Your mother in bed, and you two, you are under the bed, and the man is nakanizing the both of you together. He must really have 
a big transformer, you know? A very big transformer. You you understand what I mean? <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> you understand? Eh? Yes. Eh? Yes. Sir, we don't understand what you mean by maximizing a transformer. Yes. Yes. So, students, the topic for today is faith in God. We are going to define faith in God and then we will now look at faith vis a vis relationship with God. Yes. Ha, but, sir, how does faith in God relate with mechanizing and transformer? Sorry? What do you mean? What, what, who said that today? But you said it, sir. Yes. Me, I said that. Yes, you said, yes. It. said it. You said I said that. Yes. Something must be wrong with this. You're big head. Now, no. get, get, get out. I said you said it. 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 Just come in now. Huh? Now, go down your knees. Kneel down. Walk towards me. I'll punish you today. Walk, come closer. Huh? What? What do you want? Hey. What? Come back to your classes. Go. What's going on? How do you mean? I heard you came to school this morning naked. Me? Go out in the street. It's everywhere. People are talking about it. Reverend, what is going on? What is that supposed to mean? Are you okay? Hmm? Oh! Reverend! Reverend! What is wrong with you? Oh! Reverend! Reverend, you're choking me! You're me! What? <laughs>
pretending to be holy Holy, holy But he's nothing but a roaring lion Seeking whom to devour Beware of the wolf in a sheep's clothing He's unholy, unworthy He's unholy He comes in the name of the Lord Pretending to be working for God But he's nothing but a wolf in sheep's clothing Pretending to be holy But he's unholy He is seeking for souls to destroy All kinds of method he will employ To achieve his evil plans Cause he is an evil man Whoa. Beware of the wolf Whoa. In a sheep's clothing Whoa. Sheep's clothing Pretending to be holy mm. Holy, holy oh, oh. E But he's nothing but a roaring lion Seeking whom to devour to Beware of the wolf oh. In a sheep's clothing Cause He's unholy, unholy. Unworthy. unworthy He's unholy, unholy. The days of the evil are numbered Eventually his evil will be Uncovered and he will be seen as he really is. Ooh, the evil one from the pit of hell is where he's from. Ooh, the evil one. We can't, can never go unpunished in the end. He'll surely be finished uh, Beware of the wolf oh, In a sheep's clothing Clothing, clothing Pretending to be holy Holy, holy, holy He's unholy, oh, he's unworthy But he's nothing but a roaring lion Seeking whom to devour, whom to devour. Beware ah. of the wolf Ooh. in a sheep's clothing. clothing. Mm. He's unholy, He's unholy, unworthy, unworthy. He's unholy, unholy. He's unholy, He's unholy, unworthy.
But I hung it here. Who took it? Who took my clothes? No. I will not go home this way. Definitely no. I better stay here till night than go home this afternoon naked. Oh. Compound. Huh? <laughs> Why are you like this? What what is your business? Am I not supposed to be your wife? You are evil. I know you are evil. Look, leave, leave here now. Leave! Leave! Go! Get! Get out! Anyway, sorry, because there's no way to hide. <laughs> You are dead? You... You are dead too? You can't escape this. anybody I didn't kill anybody you see the, the soil you are standing on is my soil spiritually okay um, the husband of the proprietress sent me we actually wanted 16 million from her and she's refusing she's being stubborn so so I was sent why did you kill her? because she was standing on my soil whatever is on my soil belongs to me but we are not mad why do you have to kill us? Yes, you're not Magnus, but you're standing on my soil. So that makes you my own. You are innocent students. You won't have killed us. You're not innocent. You are not. Big, you're not. No!
go. It is time to go. We must go.